Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a two-tailed test uh, using the critical region method. Now, um, in the previous video, I showed you how to do a two-tailed test uh, not using the critical region method when you're just look, comparing a probability against one of the tails. Okay, um, So there are slight differences here. Arnold suggests that the proportion of red cars on a road is 0.3. In a random sample of 16 cars, there are two red cars. Find the critical region at the 10% significance level and conduct a two-tailed test. Okay. So, let P be the probability of a red car being on the road. Oh, there we are. So, the null hypothesis, H0, is P is 0 0.3, as Arnold suggests. The alternative hypothesis is that P is not 0 0.3. Okay? So, assuming that H0 is true, we set up a binomial distribution. X is binomially distributed with an N of 16 cars, okay, that was in the random sample, and a probability of 0 0.3. So, with a two-tailed test... Uh, at a 10% significance level, we're looking at 5% from the top and 5% from the bottom. Okay, so we get our tables, and let me uh, use a different colour. Okay, so n is 16 and a probability of 0 0.3. Okay, now we're looking at 5% from the bottom, so we're looking for that crossover. So we have probability of x being less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.0261. And the probability of x being less than or equal to 2, sorry, is equal to 0 0.0994. Okay, so as you can see, one of these is less than 5%, and one of these is greater than 5%. Okay, so we found our crossover right there. So, once we've done that, we then need to find the crossover from the other direction. So now, we're looking at 0 0.3 still, probably 0 0.3, but we're looking at 5% from the top. So we're looking at 0 0.95. Now on the tables, I can see 0 0.9256, and 0.9743. So we have the probability of x being greater than or equal to, uh, where were we, 0.3, um, that one, so greater than or equal to 8, is 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 7. So I see that the crossover is between 7 and 8 here, so I need to look at 8 and 9. So that's 1 take away 0 0.9256. And the probability of x being greater than or equal to 9 is 1 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 8. So 8 is 0 0.9743. Oh. So 1 take away 0 0.9743. So I need to calculate both of those. So that's 0 0.0744 uh, and 0 0.0257. Uh, now, one of these is greater than 5% and one is less than 5%. Okay? Now, once you've done it from the bottom and from the top, you can then identify the critical region. The critical region is the ones that are less than the 5% significance. So we have less than or equal to 1, and we have greater than or equal to 9. So x is equal to 0 and 1 from this section, and we also have greater than or equal to 9, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so what we have here is a distribution um, because it's at uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 16 is 4.8. So we've got uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the highest bars are going to be around this kind of range. Okay. And they're going to be quite small going through. Okay, so we've got um, 0 and 1, that takes up 5%. So 0 and 1, we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, and 16. That is another 5%. Okay, so that is how it is shared out with the distribution. So this is the critical region. We then compare it with what we saw. So we saw two red cars, but X is two is not in the critical region. So we fail, so we fail to reject H zero. Okay, so in other words, there is insufficient evidence to suggest that the probability of a red car is not 0 0.3. Okay, so this is us conducting, conducting rather, a two-tailed test using the critical region method approach. Okay, it can be a little bit long-winded. It's certainly more long-winded than the previous method that I showed, but you may prefer this because in some ways it does make a little bit more sense of how you're looking at both ends of the distribution rather than just comparing a probability to one end okay so that's how we go about through this one